What's going on guys, Miguel right here with uh from Seven K Animations. Uh yesterday I uploaded a tutorial on how to get the RGB shift plugin from Video Copilot. The Twitch Twitch effect and mainly like I said in the video that the RGB Twitch shift RGB shift effect is what mainly people go for. Um they have a lot of transitions in it and stuff like that, but today I'm going to show you guys how to actually use it or like here well yeah here's my short tutorial on how to actually use it once you actually have it all downloaded I'm gonna teach you guys how to actually use it and what I'm talking about is pretty much just this effect right here see the red the green and a little bit of the blue I'm just gonna teach you guys how to to do that so let's start off with making a new project and all you got to do is pretty much start off you can drag your clip and from there just drag it onto the timeline over here and you have your clip I'm just gonna yeah, leave it on third so pretty much all you have to do really is you can either come here to the twitch folder you can type in twitch or TW and Twitch should pop up right there. Notice there's a lot of different ones, but we're mainly focused on Twitch. And if you get the little same thing right here that all the rest of the presets don't come down, just click on the arrow and then click on it again, and it should be set. And if you don't know how to undo things, like you add just a bunch of different things like that and like that, all you can do is just drag the reset. Actually, no. You can do Control Z. Control Z, Control Z, and you should be done. Everything's back to normal, just like this blue glow. Notice how it, like, you can see the effect going. If you push Control Z, it removes it. Just in case you guys, like, mess up on your work or anything. And remember to always save your work because you don't know what's going to happen. So, <clears throat> another way you can do it is you can click on Effect come down to video copilot and click on twitch and you'll have the little panel right here and you can do pretty much whatever you want to it here's a preset you pick the one you want say bad distortion this is the one that mainly everybody wants the RGB shift um if I run through it just like that you can see the color changes and everything if I want to add more more amount it just makes it even more crazier let's just render this for a second and but you can see how much of a difference there is right there and this is normal speed and if I lower the speed actually let's just say 200 and to render that, see how it lowers it just a little tiny bit. Well, a lot. This is yeah, a lot. But that's pretty much what it really is. There's not much things to actually do with it. You can always add keyframes to it and stuff like that. And you don't have to have um have like the actual effect constantly on the thing on the video like this for example I'm gonna show you you go down to where it says effects this is gonna say twitch too. twitch is this one the, the one on the top but let's just forget about that one because I just reset it twitch too. I'm gonna go over here drop this down and here's the amount here's the speed of it you can as you can tell on the screen there's a big difference you can see the amount and lower it let's just do a simple keyframe let's start off at zero and the speed at zero let's move say three seconds click on the keyframe click on the keyframe move let's say another three seconds and just rise up the amount to wherever you want it if it's a hundred then keep it at 100 and the speed I'm just gonna leave it at 5 <clears throat> so from here 
if you just render it from here see the it's well yeah you can see a little bit just just enough of the actual see how there's nothing and then you can start to see it there if I bump up the amount well I would have to click on this keyframe if I bump the amount to about a hundred let's leave this keyframe right here and drag this back right there and if I render it you'll see a little uh, more of a difference to it and from there it will keep going and that's when I'm not gonna go into keyframing because um, this is tutorial this is not the keyframing tutorial this is just a how to use the RGB shift effect and this just a short tutorial like I said nothing nothing special about it <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and just start fresh again but um like I said there's a lot of different effects you know um like the transitions these are one actually my favorites because when you're like in a video and you're trying to do a different transition and, or like say like a music video when you watch a music video you always see those short tiny bursts of um, the RGB shift on like a subject or something um, and then it transitions I'll show you just like this hold on let's let's try this one the transition it's see that's the transition right there now let's just play it the transition you know and it's actually it really comes in handy when you're trying to do like those if you're actually trying to work on a music video or so or something like that it actually will come in handy if that's only if you're gonna do the RGB shift this is another way of actually like doing things um there's a lot there, well there's only four or five of them but there's it's still something it's better than not having anything or it's better than doing it than by scratch because you can always just drag and drop and it's simple as that and see this effect right here there, there's a lot of different ones nightclub in my in my previous video on the how to get the actual plugin I tried dragging nightclub into the text but it really didn't work but this is what you actually get but I'm just gonna stop the video here thanks guys for watching and see you guys soon